Well, it's Monday morning, everyone, and I'm waiting for my crew practice ride as usual. But this time I'm standing next to a heating vent, which is kind of convenient outside Higginson Hall. However, seeing as it's 43 degrees outside alone, I probably don't really need it. I have, after all, come to appreciate the colder temperatures that happen in the mornings. And as a result, I've learned that, in fact, they're not that cold as long as you maintain body motion and stay active. Not to mention, wear the right trousers. Look at the spider there. Interesting. Uh, well, Monday morning practice is over. Got moved to the gym instead of the lake because of bad conditions. So we did a 4x1K on the ergs which was pretty killer, but I was pulling good times, keeping it probably in the low 140s to 130s um, on the first couple, so that was good. At any rate, um, crew practice schedules have also changed now that we've got all of our boats back. Some of them were in for repairs. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday mornings on the water. And uh, unfortunately that means no more Wednesday night blues for me because I'll have to get up early at night, uh, the next day. So. I'll figure something else out, but a little unfortunate. At any rate, I must continue staying strong, as always. Just went by the VU rubbish sale for a little while and see if they had anything interesting, but it didn't look like it. I considered buying this really cool esoteric watch that I didn't know how to read, but I thought, that's really kind of stupid. Well, just got out of my engineering class testing some mousetrap car designs. So far, it's looking pretty good, although tenuous in some areas. We do seem to have a pretty good jump on the drag race, so hopefully we can start tweaking some more and improve our performance even further, so that that way we'll be sure to stay on top when the final races come around next Monday. We're doing this Tuesday morning. It's the 4th Dear. of March. Today's the best day. Well, today was a bit of an abnormal day as far as the morning schedule goes, because after crew practice, I decided to take the additional time to shower up a little bit and make sure I was in good sorts for today. Seeing as the crew practice schedule has changed, I figure that I'm not going to be able to get as many free days to shower without remorse. So, today's a good day to do it. Well, I'm on my way to the gym for a workout now. Been pretty busy most of the day, but I managed to get through pretty well. Unfortunately, Freud is quite dense, so I couldn't manage to convince the professor to postpone it until Friday so that it would be Freud Day, which a bunch of people kind of chuckled at the other day, but uh, still not quite a reality right now. Check it out. Crew's got their own brick here. Just finished a carver workout, so that went pretty well. Extra bonus, there's no superset we had to do afterwards, so not a lot of extra weightlifting. You know why? That's because we got a 2K test tomorrow, so that's going to be a barrel of monkeys. They chopped down those trees earlier in front of College Hall that had their branches brought down by the snow. Turns out, I guess they were too bad to save. I have just gotten a Twitter. Well, yesterday I managed to stay up pretty late doing laundry. Kind of as a last minute inclination that turned into maybe an hour and a half of, of sitting around watching YouTube videos while the laundry was going, which wasn't all that great. But I'm up again, and I still managed to get more sleep than I normally do. So, that's all good. And now, I'm off to breakfast, and then I'm going to continue with my busy day. On that 2K with a 6.54 time, and now I'm totally wiped, so let's see how the rest of the day goes there. Engineering. Safety is always a plus. Shopping at the grocery outlet for donatable canned goods for the masquerade ball. Not bad. <laughs> Just gotta find something that's proteinable and won't make us feel guilty about feeding it to the homeless. And here we have the sardine section, also known as the section of horrid dread. Ooh, and tiny shrimp. Mexican Coke in a glass bottle. Excellent. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, and I'm outside once again waiting for a good crew ride, but I figured today would be a good time to tell you about how yesterday went. 
Now, yesterday, of course, being my day where I normally do blues dancing, but instead decided to go for swing dancing. Um, and I found that pretty fun as well. I got to try to incorporate some blues stuff in there, but it was a bit harder because there's the dedicated step, step, rock, step thing going on. And while it was pretty interesting, um, I still feel like I've got some work to do. Oh, whoa, hang on. Whoa, whoa. Hold up, rat boy. That was a rat. That guy practically ran into my feet. That was disturbing. Anyway, um, the dance. Yeah, that was fun. I also decided to go to the blues dance lesson, but that wasn't really a lesson this time so much as a talk about what we liked and didn't like about dancing and what we might want to learn later, so it was a little bit disappointing. But, I don't know. Maybe next week it'll turn out a bit better. Morning practice is canceled, so we're heading back to Wet WW and getting a bunch of extra sleep. Oh, yes. Ordered my omelet today at around, I don't know, 7, 10, no, probably closer to 7, 16, and it came out in like two seconds. Joel is on a roll. My new pioneering ice cream sandwich with bread and cookies and swirl, and look at the sun hit that beautiful residence hall right there. Ah, yes, the home of color and light and beds. I'm waiting for my crew carpool, and there are robins bouncing around out here in the dark. Just pecking around, doing their, their little birdie business or whatever it is they like to do on the ground, pecking around. But what I don't understand is why they do it here in the dark. It's kind of weird, because I've never actually been up early enough, or very seldom been up early enough at this time of year, to actually examine nature doing stuff like this. But it's kind of odd, because I have heard bird calls like this for several days here at Crew, and I've always wondered what that was about, and I still don't quite understand why the birds do this during the night time. So yes, yesterday's morning practice was cancelled, we just did the weight circuit, we're going to do this morning's practice, and then after that, probably going to do some workouts, and, of course, we've got a lot of good things to look forward to in the next couple days, because there is the um, fancy party here at North Campus tonight, then there's the Masquerade Ball tomorrow, um, and there's a group party I'll also try to see if I can fit in. Oh, there's that roadblock that used to be so gigantic and impassable. Ha! Huh. Take that snow. 47 degrees right in your face. Ah, seeing that Mazda MPV parked there brings back some memories. That's the old family car that made up quite a many years of my childhood. Of course, it's not specifically that car, but, you know, you get the point. Anyways, here am I, clambered down with bags and wearing sweats, heading to Physics to review for my exam, and after that, two more hours of review and studying for my math exam at 12, and then I can get those out of the way and proceed into the weekend before Dead Week. More engineering. I stopped into Eclipse Books briefly on a run just to kind of give my feet a rest. I noticed a bit of a soreness there that I haven't had in a while for distance runs, and that was definitely a good way to spend my time. But now, it's back to the job. Fancy party! Chocolate fountain! And snacks. That's the fancy party. It's going excellently, and also I shave. Well, that's the conclusion of the fancy party for me. Crew practice tomorrow to look forward to, but I've enjoyed it all the same. Great dancing, great cocktails, made mainly from grape juice.
it's still delicious. And of course, friends. And our mousetrap car team has a flag. Then go. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm on my way to the Mousetrap Car Team Project meeting. But I'm also on my way to a very happy place because I've got a cookies and cream milkshake in my hand, which is actually pretty tasty, and I'm holding a subway foot long underneath that. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good food in during this long drive, seeing as it's the last day before we turn in the project, before we actually race them for good. At any rate, that's pretty much all I have to say for this week. It's been definitely a, a long run up to dead week, but I think overall it's been worthwhile. I've gotten a lot of things done, and I look forward to seeing you all next time, because very soon spring break will happen, and then crew training will jump into high gear, and boy will that be fun. Race is coming soon. So, until next time everyone, see ya.